Welcome back to the channel, guys. Sunday fun day. Don't know the date, uh, but it is about 11 degrees below zero with a wind chill around 20, 21 below. We're going to start the farm truck up and uh, do chores. I got a customer I got to load. We'll load our weekly load for the sale barn. And then we got a load to go down to Isani. So follow along. It's going to be cold, but let's get to work. I will say, the last couple of times this auto starting the skid loader has been really, really nice. Haven't even had to come out here and start it. It's warmed up, heat's running when I get out here. And uh, I guess I just gotta thank my wife. Thank you. Well, on mornings like this, the cows are sure appreciative of their silage. As you can see, it's cold enough. We are getting some uh, clumps. But usually by afternoon, sitting in the sun when we come push it up, we can bust them up with the shovel and that's their afternoon snack. So I'm keeping the bunk space uh, tight because if we add any new cows, I don't want them splurging on the silage. So all the cows that have been here will be used to the silage and they'll be the first ones up and the, the new ones will kind of just gently get in or uh, slowly get acquired to the silage so we don't have any issues but uh, they look cold but everybody's happy same load for the sale barn as normal 12 alfalfa for third cut and six teff so let's get her to the barn let's see what the boss has to say hey unlock the truck What do you guys say for YouTube? Huh? <laughs> Just got back from the sale barn. Gonna load the 22 TEF bales up. Um, it's currently like one o'clock in the afternoon and it's six below. So at least it ain't very windy, but uh, my good friend at the sale barn that runs the, runs the sale or the hay yard uh, says tomorrow's gonna be colder and 30 to 35 mile an hour winds. So she's gonna get chilly. Got the 22 TEF bales loaded up. This is how she turned out. Camera never does hay justice, but pretty decent stuff. So she'll be ready to uh, head south. It, uh, I can feel the temperature dropping by the hour today, so it ain't going to be fun. Well, we got back from delivering the TEF and uh, got a last minute kind of emergency load of uh, corn stalks to run up to the sale barn tonight for the sale tomorrow. So, kind of emergency guy needed corn stalks, so... Uh, Sale barn give me a call. They know what we have and uh, they kind of tell us what to bring and what we'll get. So uh, we'll keep them satisfied. Back down in front of the cows and load uh, load of corn stalks up. Looks like we're not done hauling yet. Well, there's your load of corn stalks. Oh, everything looks good. We're going to get these to the sale barn and it's going to be dark by the time we get home. Tuesday, January 16th, uh, about 9.30, 9.15 in the morning. Chores are done, cows are fed, no frozen waters, 30 some below, with wind chill. Wind's blowing about 12, 15 miles an hour. And uh, if you can hear the kid in the back, we're out of here. It's too cold to do any work outside on the farm, so we're gonna go enjoy the day. Well, we're definitely not at the farm anymore. Hope it's warm in there. Well, it's dark out. We had a blast of a day down in uh, Bloomington, just south of the Twin Cities suburb. We're gonna, it's about 6.30 in the evening. Got to uh, hurry home and do chores. Nice, uh, quick getaway. 
too cold to do anything out in the fields or on the farm. So uh, do chores, blast on down here and have a good day. Well guys, Thursday morning. I uh, don't remember what the date is. Uh, yesterday we ended up running down to Cambridge, which is uh, about 20, 25 miles away. And uh, the blower motor in the Cummins quit. So uh, we ended up driving home with no positive pressure from the blower motor. Still had heat coming out of the vent when we were still moving. But uh, I was going to call and make an appointment to get her fixed, but I ended up just YouTubing it to see uh, what it entails. And uh, it looks like it's very simple, three bolts and a plug, and we should be able to pull that blower motor out. I thought you had to tear the dash apart, but you don't end up having to tear anything apart that I know of. So uh, I ordered one, and uh, it should be here tomorrow, Friday, and uh, we'll throw that in, and I'll take you guys with. I'm uh, thinking it's going to be a pretty easy fix. So Right now, we're just uh, going to feed cows. I gotta feed corn salads. I don't think we gotta feed any hay today. And then uh, I'll maybe throw you guys out on the processor. We gotta bed the cows. So we almost made it through the cold spell. It's about zero degrees right now. And uh, it's gonna be a good day. Uh, next week they're talking 30s. So we'll get back to regular scheduled programming. We got a bunch of hay to haul out of the field yet. We'll probably do that next week. And uh, hopefully the rain misses us.
so when we were bedding yesterday, I decided to try something a little different. I don't know if you can see it in the shadow, but uh, I ran an alfalfa bale through the processor up against these bales, and I'm uh, mixing that bucket with the corn silage to uh, get a little bit higher protein as we come into calving. So, poor man's way of uh, TMR. Honestly, yeah. mixing it with the bucket, yeah. it works pretty good. Yeah. 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 That's some nice feed, ain't it? Yeah. 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 So just finishing up with chores, and uh, gonna go throw that blower motor in the Dodge. That should be the problem. Three T25s. An electrical connection. We'll see what happens. The old one popped out, new one hooked up. See if she works. Good power. Now to get them small bolts up there where I can't fit fit my big hands. Well. $37, three torques, and a plug. Blower motor's fixed. So we got room enough room that we started unhooking and parking the truck and trailer in here so we're not shoveling snow off the trailer. And I think there's gonna be just over 120, 130 alfalfa bales left in here. And I think, uh, yeah. yeah? Yeah. We're getting pretty low on alfalfa, but uh, it's also almost February. And uh, we're in a drought. Still waiting on snow. Got a couple other projects. Got to install this furnace in the shop. We're still using the portable heat. But uh, gonna start working on shop projects. That's gonna be it for this video. Um, not much interesting, but uh, that's the time of year. So like, comment, subscribe, follow along. Tell us what you wanna see. Talk to you later.